Hello everyone, my name is Amy Harmon. I'm a speech therapist at Burbank Preschool. And I just wanted to show you a little bit about how I've been using boom cards in some of my direct therapy sessions with uh, the kids at Burbank. So uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, boom cards are basically interactive decks of cards um, that you can either use in therapy sessions or you can send home and assign to students for home practice. For preschool students, I find that um, using them interactively is usually what works best. Um, so if you do send them home, make sure that the parents are familiar with how to use them and how to practice with them. I'm gonna quickly go to my library and just show you a few of the um, boom cards that I've been using. And these are all ones that I've downloaded either for free or made myself. Um, so I'll show you uh, just a quick one that I downloaded for free, um, which is a bug themed uh, listening activity. And this can show you that you can either use these decks for um, what they were created for and intended for. Um, basically, this is a following directions activity, or you can use them in a more interactive way, um, something a little more play-based, which works better for some of our kids. So um, let's go to the next one here. And you can see that there are movable elements here in Boom Cards that you can click and drag. Um, and you can either have the child tell you what to do, um, or you can give the child remote control um, so that they can click with their parents' help usually and uh, move some of the elements around. Um, so as you can see, some of these elements are fixed. I can't move these, but I can move the bugs. So some of the things you could do are just use it as it's intended. Um, you could give the student remote control and have them follow the directions. Put the ladybug on the bench. And they could put the ladybug on the bench themselves. Or if you don't feel comfortable with the remote control aspect, you can always uh, lead them through the activity by asking them questions. Um, another thing you could do if you do feel comfortable with the remote control um, aspect of this, it's a bit more play-based, is give the child um, and the parent a remote control so that they can manipulate these aspects of the boom card and you can play with them and narrate what they're doing. Um, so, you know, if they start moving the ladybug, oh, it's going down the slide, let's make it go down the slide. We down the slide um, and basically talk about what the child is doing as they're doing it. Um, and that play narration can be um, a little more of an appropriate strategy for some of our students. So that is how I've been using boom cards in some of my sessions. If you can't find what you're looking for in the boom store, um, then you can make your own boom cards, which I've done. Uh, it takes a little bit more effort and there's a learning curve, but it's kind of fun to do those as well. All right, uh, thanks for listening. Bye.